Hello everyone, let's show you how to configure the communication between Yaskawa Sigma Logic Drive and Alan Bradley Compact Logics PLC. So in RS Logix 5000, there are only three steps that are required to set up the communication. The first step is to add a generic Ethernet module and give this Ethernet module the IP address of the drive and on the right side we have to insert the right input and output assembly instance values. Once that's done, the second step is to, add, is to import the add-on instructions. The add-on instructions are available to download on Yaskawa's website. Once they are downloaded and extracted in a folder, we can import each AOI one by one here. The third and final step is to call the MCFG Motion Access Configuration and Status AOI. This AOI is the only required AOI to ensure functionality because this AOI is responsible for exchanging motion access command data between the drive and the PLC. As you can see on the right side of this AOI, you can see the heartbeat flag turning on and off indicating that the communication is up and running. Also, we can find a lot of information about the motion access in this AOI for example, real-time information about motion access current position, speed, torque, error codes or warning codes. So basically only three easy and straightforward steps are required to set up the communication between the Yaskawa Sigma Logic Drive and PLC. The rest is about programming it. And programming it is very easy where we are using simple commands for example, motion servo on and motion servo off to put the servo on and off. Motion servo, motion access jog to jog the servo drive either forward or reverse, reverse direction. Motion access home to perform homing. And motion access move to call a sequence of pre-programmed moves. And as you can see, each AOI has its own set of parameters that you can change. So basically, this was all about setting up the communication between Yaskawa Sigma Logic Drive and Allen Bradley PLC. Thank you.